In the case of that professional tennis umpire accused of bludgeoning her husband to death with a coffee mug. Lois Goodman was arrested back in August dressed up in the U.S. Open uniform. But it looks like the case against her may have been turned upside down. ABC's Mark Greenblatt is here with that story. Good morning, Mark. Well, good morning, Bianca. Look, she's alleged to have badly beaten her husband, leaving him to die while going off to a tennis match and to get a manicure. But this morning, lawyers for this pro tennis referee are hoping that science will help set their client free. Lawyers for Lois Goodman hope new DNA evidence will exonerate their 70-year-old client. The longtime tennis umpire stands accused of bludgeoning her husband to death with a coffee cup. Charges Goodman's daughter has refuted for months. My mother would never do something like this, ever, not in a million years. She's completely innocent. The tennis line judge has sparred with John McEnroe and some of the sport's biggest stars on the court and was still in uniform when police arrested her just days before the U.S. Open in August, charging her with the murder of Alan Goodman. We did an autopsy and it was determined that uh, uh, he died at the hands of another. But now her lawyer says new forensic evidence recently turned over by prosecutors shows Lois Goodman's DNA was nowhere to be found on the alleged murder weapon. Bolstering their claim, Alan Goodman simply fell down the stairs and hit his head on that coffee cup. It's the latest salvo from the defense after they previously hired a retired FBI agent to administer a polygraph test looking for abnormal body language. I asked, did you kill Alan Goodman? And at your residence, did you kill your husband? Uh, there was no physiological reaction attached to those answers that she gave, which were no. His conclusion? Innocent woman. But as for the latest revelation, law enforcement experts say the lack of DNA on the coffee cup won't make a difference at trial. It doesn't really matter whether her DNA was found or not. In fact, it's not uncommon for a suspect's DNA to not be on a murder weapon, whether it be a gun, a knife, in this case a coffee cup. And the very reason he says that is that if the suspect holding that coffee cup had any gloves on, they wouldn't leave any DNA behind, and Dan Biana police say that they're certain that this was no accident. You know, I've sat with her family, and they are certain that she is innocent, so this is a really interesting case. Mark, thank you very much.